Our last story tonight comes straight from the future. A 64-year-old man in the U.S. has made history. He suffers from ALS. This is a degenerative brain disease. It leads to loss of muscle control. But now, thanks to a brain chip, this patient can control Amazon's Alexa with his brain. He can mentally tap the icons on the virtual assistant. We'll tell you how and discuss the fast-moving advancements in neurotechnology. Here is a report. This is Mark. He's 64 years old. And he lives with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, or ALS, in short. This disease affects the nerve cells in the brain and the spinal cord. It causes loss of muscle over time and eventually even the loss of speech. Due to ALS, Mark has limited mobility. He can walk and talk, but he can't use his arms and hands. It's like watching in a Mark loves Amazon's virtual assistant, Alexa, which he uses with his voice. But now, Mark can control Alexa with his mind too. He can switch on or off the lights, watch TV, make video calls and play music, all by telling Alexa what to do just with his mind. This may sound like science fiction, but this is the reality. Mark has become the first person to do this, thanks to a brain chip. In scientific terms, this is called a brain-computer interface or BCI. It has been made by a tech startup called Synchron. The chip is not available in the market, of course. It's being tested in a clinical trial. If successful, the company will commercialize BCI and it shares this dream with several other companies, including billionaire Elon Musk's Neuralink, the neurotechnology company. In January, Neuralink announced that a paralyzed man had successfully undergone a brain chip implant. Months later, Musk shared a video. It showed the man playing online chess by using his thoughts. The chip faces some hiccups. Only 15% of the implant's channels work properly. But that being said, it's a giant leap forward. So is Synchron's successful chip test. But how does it work? Think of the chip as a mesh tent. It's dotted with electrodes. They can collect neural signals. It may be called a brain chip, but this chip is not directly implanted in the brain. Instead, it's inserted into the jugular vein, which lies at the base of the neck. It's connected to the region of the brain that controls voluntary movement. This is a minimally invasive procedure. And once planted, the chip is easy to detect. It wirelessly transmits the intention of movement out of the brain. So paralyzed people can control devices without their hands or without using their voice. They can do so by simply thinking about it. So they literally control technological devices with their minds. It sounds like a superpower. And neurotech companies are already taking this a step forward. They are working to connect brain chips with ChatGPT, the AI chatbot, and with Apple Vision Pro, the mixed reality headset. So far, these technologies are still in the testing phase. But if all goes well, it won't be long before we're living in the future.